A fire in an old mill warehouse sends a huge cloud of smoke over the upstate. Tonight, fire officials say it is suspicious. We have a live report with the latest on the fire investigation. Plus, rapper DMX still on life support after a heart attack. And tonight, we talk to his loved ones here in the upstate as hundreds gather for a vigil outside his hospital in New York. And half a billion people had their data hacked on Facebook. We're breaking down how you can find out if you are on the list. But first on Fox tonight, we're following breaking news near the Spartanburg and Cherokee County line. Traffic backed up once again for miles tonight due to multiple crashes. This is between mile markers 84 and 87. Again, this is according to Highway Patrol right now on their website. One of our photographers actually stuck in this mess tonight. So if you plan to drive soon, if you're in that area, if you know anyone who will be in that area, please be aware that traffic is deadlocked. It is not moving southbound right now. And all new at 10, heading back to Honeyhead Path where officials are investigating that suspicious fire. Crews were called to about four o'clock today after witnesses reported that smoke at that mill now, once they arrived on scene, they found two fires. Viewers sent us this video. You could see that big cloud of smoke there. Uh, we brought it to you as breaking news at both 5 and 6 o'clock. Fortunately, nobody was hurt here, but we have been working to get answers about how this all started. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson's been on the ground there following this breaking news for us this evening. He's live outside the Honey Path Fire Department. So what did you learn about this fire, Jarvis? Well, Cody Victoria, the fire chief told me earlier today that witnesses actually noticed smoke in the area and called 911. I asked that fire chief right here at Honeypath Fire Department, what should people do if they notice smoke? He said that was the right thing. A good friend of mine called me and told me that the meal was on fire and that's pretty close to my house. Henry Smith explained to me feeling a bit nervous when he heard about the fire near his home. Flames got pretty high and fire department was already down here just started putting it out. We got here, we had a uh, structure fire involving part of the uh, warehouse area of the old mill, and then it had, uh, had a large debris fire in the back of the mill. Fire Chief Jimmy Smith told me the fire is suspicious. No electricity, didn't have a thunderstorm, um, didn't see any other way it could have started uh, without being of suspicious origin. Of course, there are a lot of people over there. They, they sleep in that meal. Henry says there's a lot of sketchy activity that goes on and also say this isn't the first time a fire has happened there. Oh, yes, it done happened about three or four times. I asked the fire chief, what should people do if they notice something unusual going on in the area? He said notify law enforcement. There's a lot of vagrants that stay here. Uh, we've, we've patrol, our police officers patrol frequently to try to get them to move on. Fortunately, no injuries have been reported from this fire. However, we're still waiting to find out what is the exact cause of the fire. Once we get those details, we'll be sure to pass it along to you all. Reporting live in Honeypath tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.